Hey what's up streamers today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best OBS and OBS related software settings for streaming and recording. Without further ado let's get right into it. Now first off in general there's really not much to change. If I were you I would recommend changing show confirmation dialog when starting streams and dialog when stopping streams. Pretty much if you accidentally click on one of those it'll do a little pop up on your screen double checking that you want to start or stop. Other than that I believe these are all just the normal basic settings that they give you off rip. So now if we hop over and stream for stream, I would definitely log in to whatever you're streaming on. So for me, it's Twitch. Um, pretty much it should say log in to account or something along those lines. There should be like a button right here where disconnect account is. So you log into that. I'll give you the best ping so you have a better stream overall. Twitch has add-ons. So if you want to do better TTV and Franker faces, poggers or five head, all of those emotes that usually comes from here. If you like a video, about setting up these types of emotes just let me know in the comments down below for your output i would try to do your graphics card as the encoder it's so you can take less stress off your cpu because your cpu will probably get used more in games more or less rescale output just keep that at 1080p uh, rate control keep this on cbr for your bit rate now this is really based off your internet but i would try to have it at 4000 4000 is a sweet spot anything below you'll start to see a lot of quality drop anything higher you won't really see any improvements keyframe interval keep this on two preset try to do the best quality you can aka max for me profile you don't have to do high on this i would just keep it on main i don't really see a difference you don't need look ahead keep visual tuning on it'll help the quality of the stream and max b frames put that to two for recording i would do mp4 that's the most commonly used format audio track just stay, keep it on one encoder once again try to do your graphics card keep 1080p bbr if your computer is stressed try to even out your usage set the bit rate to 12,000. set the max bit rate to 25,000. Those are just really crispy quality bitrate settings for video, especially if you want to like zoom in on the video or something along those lines. The rest is just like your streaming or audio. Don't really touch this. Just keep it at 160 bitrate. Um, replay buffer. If your computer starts lagging during a stream, the replay buffer will actually take your stream and throw it back around in the 20 seconds. So then once your computer is done stressed, being stressed, it'll catch up the normal time. Now for audio, you can set up your desktop or your microphone, but I do it differently. Pretty much I use the sources and add my audio through that, but you can easily just do it this way. It doesn't matter which way you do it, it'll, it'll work. I'm pretty sure these are all just the normal settings, so don't touch any of these. For resolution, don't touch the base, but for output, I would try to keep it between 864 and 1080p. Those qualities are considered HD, and you obviously want an HD stream. Downscale filter, keep that to 16, that should be the normal. And FPS, honestly, I would try to keep it at 60, 60 is just smoother, but if your computer can't handle it, obviously crank it down to 30. Um, if you need hotkeys, you can set them up here, but I have a stream deck, so I don't really need to do that. And then for advanced, process priority try to keep that above normal you really want to keep your stream quality as best as you can you might lose a few frames and games but you obviously want to keep the viewer happy keep the render on direct 11 format mb12 color space 601 if you're doing competitive or something you can add a stream delay obviously but if you're not you obviously want to try to keep it as as close as you can to chat so they can't really see a delay when you're responding to them don't touch anything else these are all just the normal regular settings and that's pretty much all the settings hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already, please be sure to drop a like and have fun streaming. Peace out.